This might be tough to put the tarp on right now. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is blowing straight, straight flat, those Where's, where's Uncle Ray? Might need his help here. Might need the whole family. So this will be interesting to see the grounds crew try and get this tarp on the field with that heavy wind. And it's one thing to roll it out now, but then to try and do it manually, as we saw in Robbie's uh, footage earlier. Now, the one thing about that storm from earlier, it did come in fast, but it went rather quickly. Some folks are going to try and brave it. Now, this is where it really gets tough. And that is a heavy tarp, too. Yeah. It was a smart move to try and get the tarp on now before the, the rains actually hit here. And it's right now just kind of misty. The wind's the factor. Andrew McCutcheon watching. He's from uh, the Lakeland area. Grew up in Florida, so uh, used to the rain and inclement weather. Look at the flags. Yeah, you see Sean Rodriguez. They want to watch and see if the, uh, the grounds crew can pull this thing off, or in this case, put it on. And maybe they're poised to try and help the grounds crew to see if they need the help. I'll tell you, you can you can lose control of this tarp. Right here, see that it, it can carry yep. a human. In fact, it's it's pulling. Yeah, the there's, there's crew. a guy underneath. Yeah, yeah. Here comes McCutcheon and Rodriguez. To try and get him out of there. Remember, the grounds crew was caught in there, and other pirate players are coming out. Members of the bullpen. to the sounds of uh, Bruce Springsteen cover. Is that Springsteen cover me? There's Dale Nadio. I wonder what Mark Grant is doing right about now. Well, you know, they, ask they, him for some help. they don't see much rain in San Diego. <laughs> We're talking about Mark Grant, our, uh, our friend, color analyst for the San Diego Padres, who... Uh, Probably not used to seeing this much. In fact, I don't know if they have a tarp in San Diego. No, or well. Luke Yoder was the head grounds crew chief here for a few years and went to Petco. We've, we've seen a lot of Bud Grant, though, during this series. Mark Grant, yeah. No, no, Bud Grant. Yeah, Bud Grant, <laughs> not, uh, not, not so much. We don't see much of him anymore. No. Yeah. <laughs> Lou Grant. Wow, how about this? Teamwork. Ryan Recchi is out there in the Pirates front office. Looking very stylish, yeah. by the way. Dennis Dupre, Jared Hughes having fun. You know, it was it was a little moment of scare when the uh, one of the ground crew was tangled up in there. Yeah. And oh, that's when things really, that, yeah. really got moving personnel-wise. Tie me kangaroo down, boys. Well, that is an adventure. And you do, you wonder how, how long this is going to last. Robbie, see, we shamed him into getting out there. Can Robbie hear us? Yeah. Robbie, give put, us a play-by-play -play blow. You're right down there. They're just putting the stakes down right now. Jeff Badomini, Dennis Dupre, the head of PNC Park Operations is here. Probably half the team. Once one little area gets caught here, the whole rest of the tarp picks up, so they were able to come down. Now they're running around with the spikes to just get it nailed into the ground. That was an insane experience. There was probably 15, 18 players. Stay with us here on the Weather Channel. Robbie, Jim out here. Tori, it's Mikowski. So what I can tell you, I don't know what camera I'm looking at right now, but what I can tell you is it's Dennis. raining right now. Well, uh, now, you were down there when the one of the members of the grounds crew actually got caught in there. 
Robbie, yeah. aren't you? And we're gonna take a look at the video again, and that can be kind of scary. Yeah. yeah, it was a scary moment for sure. We're, we're, uh, now they got all, all the stakes are in. That was the biggest thing is just keeping the tarp under control until the stakes were able to be driven into the ground right here. And now look at the on the end, you can see the rain, uh, the wind, excuse me, picking it up, and the, the rain on top of the tarp is being thrown all over the place toward the guys at the end of first base out on the far end by the uh, end of the Padres dugout. If you could see it right now, that's kind of here we go. whipping up pretty quick. Yeah. We're, we're seeing video right now, Robbie, of, again, yeah. uh, one of the members that, of the grounds crew getting scary. caught up in that tarp. This is reminiscent, I believe it was in Colorado when the Philadelphia Phillies players were involved in keeping the tarp under control. Now they got the uh, the golf carts coming out right now to keep everything nailed down. So hopefully the field is covered. We'll be in playable shape once this rain ends. What's interesting about this, we're, we're kind of trying to track the radar ourselves, is that uh, it's looking as though in about 15 or 20 minutes, this heavy cell is going to just really briefly pass and blow on through it and there's <laughs> another window but then there's more a heavy cell on its way but but there should be plenty of time once they resume play to play some baseball I mean, some folks trying to just brave it with the umbrella 